All right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises, our honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, Bashem, and Kakadash, the bombs to the elders and apostles of Great Milson, Shalom, to the Ophelek. Hope this video will be edifying. And without further ado, let's get into it now. Topic that I want to be talking about today take care of your household, man. You know, you're supposed to be uh, taking care of your household, you know, because if you don't take care of your household, how are you going to take care of, the, of, of, of this truth, man? This ministry, you know, how are you going to take care of the works of the Mosiah Bashim Yashar? Because this is a work also, man, you know, prophesying, making videos, week in and week out, standing on the highways and byways, you know, this is our job. This is our, our job. This, everything else comes second, man. The Mosiah Bashim Yashar comes first, you know? So how do you make sure that this truth is first? Everything, um, everything related to the Mosiah Bashim Yashai is first. Well, taking care of your household first of all, man, because you need to take care of your household. You need to take care of your. If you have a wife, you need to take care of your wife. You need to take care of your children. You know, they cannot be starving, man. You know, as a man, as as the head of your household, you're supposed to take care of them, man. Just like you take care of your, uh, um, if you have a dog, you take care of your pet dog, you know, you make sure you, uh, he, he eats every day, you know, you make sure he drinks water every day, you take care of him, right, right? The same way you got to take care of your household, man, you know, make sure your wife is straight, your, your children is straight, you know, and focus on the Mosaya Bashim man, make sure you, you're, you're able to provide having income in your in your pockets man the basic things you know don't get too comfortable man because th this is not uh this is not our rest man like like it says in micah micah chapter 2 and verse 10 or 2 and 1 you know this is not our rest man it's, it will it, it's gonna destroy you man if you think you if you think you can be comfortable here in this society in this in this kingdom you know so this uh, First Timothy chapter three and verse four, one that ruleth well his own house. Uh, one that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity, for if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of Yahabashim Yashai? You see, so you gotta take care of your household first, man. Take care of your household. Be a man, you know. Make sure you you have your you have your shit together, and if you don't have your shit together yet, start start um, 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 doing it, man. Start being in the process of of uh, uh, getting your shit together, man. Having your own house, having 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 a car, you know, having your driver license, having a car, having having um, basically not being dependent upon other people, man. That's what a man is. Not being dependent upon other other people, man. He takes care of his own shit, you know. And he provides for his household. Now this is the book of Sirach, chapter 36 and verse 24. He that get it a wife, begin it a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. You see, so when you get a wife, you get a possession, man. You're supposed to take care of uh, your wife, basically, man. Make sure she's fed. Make sure she has enough clothes. Make sure she, she drinks. Make sure uh, she eats, you know. Make sure everything in the household is good, man. If there's something she needs, you, you take care of, you know. Obviously not being a simp. You know, obviously not being a simp. But you're supposed to take care of her, man. Point blank, period. And if you don't do these kind of things, hey, it ain't going gon, to gon look too well, man. It ain't going to look too well. And eventually what's going to happen is she going to leave you, man. Because it's it's in their nature, man. If you if a man cannot provide for his woman, eventually that woman is going to leave, man. Doesn't matter how much she loves you. If you cannot provide, she's going to leave, man. That's just how it is. You know? Look at, for example, animals. Now I'm not talking about every woman, but this is for the most part, man. You know? Because check this out, man. If you look in nature, right? If you check out nature. And you see how these uh, female animals be be uh, programmed, right? By the Most High Abashim They always look for the strongest man. 
you know the man that can provide the man that uh, take care of her and take care of the children that she sees fit to take care of you know take care of herself and take care of her children you know and if 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 you if you cannot do that then she going to look for the next man and that's how it is man you know that's why it's important to have an income if you young if you're a younger brother in the street get your shit together you know get it get it together man you know as i'm speaking i'm speaking to myself as well man you know this is not the time to be slacking to be um not having your shit together man you know this ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse uh, 12 for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it you see so uh for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense right we know wisdom is a defense man you can read that in uh, Ephesians 6 now and money is a defense why because a you have a roof over your head which costs money you know you have clothes to uh, cover your shame which is also money man you need to also buy it with money man just some examples you know why money is a defense man food to eat that's also money you know that you're gonna have to spend and if you don't have no money how are you going to have a roof over your head cover your own shame and uh, feed yourself man and feed your household feed your wife feed your kids how are you gonna do that man if you have no if you have no money if you have no income now obviously you ain't supposed to be chasing the back like these dudes be in the world doing 24 7 ah i gotta think about money i gotta make money blah, 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 blah. but you know everything in balance man everything in balance you know this Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33 but seek ye first the kingdom of the most high Yabashim and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you and how do you do that by putting this truth first how do you put this truth first by taking care of your household first take care of yourself first make sure you are a man in the truth and then uh, um, um, make sure you are your house household is in order and then and then focus on uh, keep maintaining that obviously and focus on 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 this truth man on the most ayabashim yashai you know preaching studying you know so yeah man i want to give all praise sound and glory to yahweh bashim yashai bashim kakadash the one to the elders and post of great muslim shalom to the overleg hope this video was edifying and shalom